Well, hello and welcome back, or welcome to those of you tuning in for the first time to Hope Revealed. I'm your host, Matt Crump, and I come to you every Tuesday with episodes of Hope, Help, and Health. You can expect guests to give us great information and insight into the world of business, health, and personal experience, all presented to you as a way to find a Hope Revealed. As a person myself who's been battling stage four cancer, I wanted to bring a platform to you that would specifically bring hope as well as help. That can be done through our special guests, information I've been able to locate, and information from emails and messages I receive from you, our followers. You can always email us here at community at godsgotthis.love for questions, comments, or content. On today's episode, we're going to dive deep into life and a hope revealed moment through the life of a very special guest. Welcome to Hope Revealed. Hey, how's it going? This is Chad. And this is Holly. And we're uh, the founders of Quantum Impact Coaching. Where we help coaches who are really out to make an impact and a transformation in other people's lives to have more freedom, more impact, and of course, more money into their business. (laughs) <laughs> um, so I went into McDonald's to get my daughter lunch and ended up falling on the drink machine. Oh, was, man. And I dislocated my hip. And ever mm. since I fell, nothing was ever the same in my life. Um, I ended up not being able to work anymore. It resulted in um, about a few years later. I was like having a lot of pain. A lot of I stopped working completely. Um, and eventually what happened was it, it transformed into – I hurt myself again and it became, um, I was diagnosed with CRPS and RSD. And I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but um, Mm. my legs literally were burning on fire so bad that I could not walk anymore. I was getting spinal injections every other week and spinal blocks to try to block them. Um, That I had a, a really bad reaction from. And they told me that I may never walk again. And if I did, I would always be on fire and I would always uh, like walker at best walker cane or I just wouldn't walk it again and that was something that I um, literally I just I just had a really hard time accepting and it's funny I'm glad that you are like a very God-centered person but I literally heard like to keep me going you know Jesus walked on wire on water and I'm calling you to walk on fire mm, that's fantastic and um, that's what I did. I was, I was, I had like this angel nurse come in. She taught me about the power of food. She would go grocery shopping for me. She taught me how to eat, like cut out my sugars and eat like super mega healthy, totally clean. And I started cutting out things in my world and my health became my number one. So, um, it really instilled in me too on the background. I'm like, well, I need to take care of my family. I need to have something. I loved my, I loved running companies. Like I, I, I'm very good at it. I love it. So I started my business online, actually from my hospital bed. And I just started making videos. I started just going out there. I started learning funnels. I started learning systems. Like, what do I need? Because I need a business that's working for me so I can get better. Yeah. So I was all about it. I became obsessed with it. While I was down and not walking, I was studying and watching webinars and going to trainings and, you know, I started ClickFunnels when ClickFunnels first opened. Um, The whole Russell. Totally obsessed with it. And um, eventually what happened was um, I was I was previously married before this and that just my health condition, it was just a, a big thing. I had a hard time taking care of my kids. Uh, I ended up getting divorced because I didn't have a job or anything. I didn't have money for a lawyer. So my husband, my ex-husband has uh, two of my younger kids and I took, I had this like I don't know, calling or just felt that my place was in Florida. That's where I had to go heal. Like the weather, that everything that's just a lot more holistic centered mm-hmm. and down south than it is here. So I moved my path into Florida and there um, I just had all sorts of opportunities happen. And my business really escalated. People were following my story. Uh, I made my first six figures that year online um, after being divorced and being in Florida. I got to travel, do all sorts of things. I started, my health started like really. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Right? And I celebrated that. There was like, there's no stopping me. I'm walking. I took like 21 cruises that year. It was like insane, Gosh. crazy. <laughs> of um, And I was also had the opportunity to start uh, running a, 
I was an operations director for a big coach in the e-commerce CPA field. So I got to run his coaching business. That's where I started learning about leverage and systems as far as coaching and how to put programs together and how to run this whole thing. So that's kind of my backstory of how Chad needed to put a person to run the operations in the business side. That's what I've been doing for a very long time. It's something Dude, I've when you need help in your business, just marry the girl. I mean, come on. <laughs> Dude. Screw. Now look. hiring somebody, just marry him. Forget that. <laughs> I want to make a baby with you. Let's have let's have marriage. <laughs> we'll always go. No, so when we got together, I was kind of shorten it up a little bit. We got together and it was. God, I'm recording because I might just have to use this stuff for our podcast. It's great. <laughs> so um, we started our agency. Right, we we took our. He's like, wait a minute, you do all these funnels and know how to do all these systems and stuff. I'm really good at selling, like, let's go for it. And so. Well, let me just back up. So part of this retreat that I sold was a funnel. And I had this guy that was like on board to create these funnels. And he backed out on me like last minute. And so I'm like, God, I need somebody that can build funnels. <laughs> like, like these kind of funnels. And uh, luckily, you know, like, and, and then when she showed up, I was like, wow, you can do this. It's like amazing. I'm like, let's go sell these things. And then we just started selling them like crazy. And, um, we had some ups and downs and was living in a, our CPA's grandson's bedroom and all this stuff. Like, but, uh, when we were able to pull out of that, we had like our first like $40,000 month and, uh, you know, just doing done for you stuff. And everything seemed really good, but I was doing all of the done for you stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't quite have the teams that we needed. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. Done for you being the funnels, the copy, the email, the whole systems I was yeah. doing. Burnout stuff there. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Complete massive burnout where it started resulting in seizures. And I was having up to 12 seizures a day. And oh, wow. I'm a high performer. I'm like, nothing's going to stop me. Like I conquered our CRPS, like psh, watch me. Right. And so I just kept going through it, going through it, have a seizure, take like an hour to rest, get back up. Hour, and 20 minutes. She literally had a seizure once. We're living on the beach, right? We can see the beach right here. It's beautiful. She has a freaking seizure. We have a webinar in a half an hour. And she comes back and she, her whole body was um, uh, paralyzed after seizure sometimes. And she freaking does the webinar paralyzed. You me up on a couple pillows. And <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, I think the seizures and how we overcame that and, you know, really like what happened to our business as a result of that and what's been able to happen in our life because I think it, it really is one of the biggest blessings we've ever gone through. Mm -hmm. And we did it together. So. Totally. Yeah, but even, even better. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hope Revealed. I'm super excited to have an incredible couple here today with a very powerful, powerful story that is definitely going to rock your socks off. They are the bomb.com and uh, I'm their biggest fan. Love them. And I'm really excited to have uh, have them on the show today. Guys, thanks so much for being here, Chad and Holly. I appreciate you coming on Hope Revealed. Hey, Absolutely. thanks for having us, Holly, man. thanks for having us. Yeah, so, so super excited. Um, obviously, I was teasing because, you know, you just turned the ceiling fan off. It was making noises, and we turned it off. Yes, yeah, like, like a bomb. The bomb. It was, it's crazy. So, it's always fun when you explain them. It is fun. It's fun when you explain them. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Yes. Kind of like coaching. <laughs> if people don't know what they're talking about, they're like, why don't I have any clients? Because you don't know what you're talking about. Just kidding. So not kidding. <laughs> That's really the truth. That happens to a lot of people. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are, uh, what's the, the deal with your company, what you're doing with, the, with your company together. It's a marketing company. It's a, it's a funnel company, advertising. What do you do? Uh, yeah. So we help uh, coaches, life coaches, health coaches, transformational coaches, leadership coaches, spiritual coaches, all that type of world um, that they believe that they're not the best at marketing. They'd rather just work with their clients and make a huge impact in their life. We help them attract, enroll, and use systems to um, you know, market their business and get more clients. Oh, that's great. So you do help with uh, Facebook advertising and things of that nature for folks? 
Yep, on a long end, we teach them how to use uh, Facebook ads in a really simple, simple way because there's some people that make it so, so freaking complicated um, that it makes it uh, not understandable for the normal people. Most of the people that we work with like suck at tech, right? They just <laughs> they're not very good at the they're tech. Super good at making transformations in people's lives. Yep. Not so good wrong. at the tech side. And then what oh. ends up happening is they want to learn the tech side and they make it so complicated that it's taking away from their business and they start, like they're not getting clients, they're not doing what they're really good at. So what we do is we provide a very simple framework for them to be able to, uh, we're ultimately, we're all about leverage. We're all about like you're making an impact with people, but we also want you to go and have a life and have that freedom. And when <laughs> yeah. story today, you'll find out why that's so important to us um, and why it's so important to that we are a stand for that in people's lives, that they have a good balance and um, have their family, they have that freedom as well, that they're not working themselves literally to death. Yeah. So that can happen. Yeah. Yeah, this, this should appeal to a lot of folks for sure that are listening. I uh, I deal with a lot of those folks in my life as well. That's some of my when it comes to coaches, they always tell me the same stuff the stuff you're talking about. It's a big deal, and uh, when folks who are overachievers or folks that are um, perfectionists, I'm guilty. I've been working very hard to work on excellence versus perfectionism, which is a big difference. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Big, big difference, uh, but it, it, it's, a, it's a disaster area because, uh, especially with Facebook, because the algorithms are, are always changing and to keep up with that kind of stuff is, uh, is mind blowing. So you're telling me then you offer opportunities, not necessarily done for you, yes, but, um, or do you do done for you as well? If the price was right. If you have a million dollars, they'll do it. If yeah, you don't. It, uh because that's where we started, right? And, and we're very, very, very picky on who we work with on really all of our projects. And if the right person showed up with the right following, with the right message, like it, it, but they're just like, I need to know how to put, I need to need this put into a system and put out to my people. I would, we would be open to taking right. a look of that. But um, on a regular basis, you're there to help people to be able to, you, you're teaching people how to fish is what you're doing. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. that's really what you, what you prefer is to do yeah. that because obviously at the end of the day, the reason he's going so far into that is because it can be a burnout for you too. So it's much easier to just teach people how to fish, which is fantastic. And uh, folks, that's really what you need to learn how to do. And they're not saying, right? You're not saying that um, you're teaching them how to do like a million things and, and study algorith algorithms all day long. You're, you're teaching some kind of a system or a program to somebody to be able to follow. Is that right? Yeah. So we have frameworks in place that people can go in and kind of tap into. And we're all about simplicity because simplicity works. Yeah. And to be able to make things go in a way where you're growing your business in a way that's simple, that has frameworks and systems that are not overly complicated at all. Yeah. And the other thing is, is if you can't consistently enroll clients, we're not going to set you up with a, a, a funnel right, or a website that's like super complicated where you have to spend months or years. I've heard people building websites and, and funnels for years before you go out there and start getting clients. We, most of our clients are, um, you know, they're, they're having, they're enrolling clients, but they want to be able to consistently enroll them and, and get higher amounts for them. And we give them the frameworks to do that or they're working offline and they want to be online and we give them the, um, the, the skills and to be able to do that mostly without a funnel until they're, they're really just getting a really good flow. Teach them how to scale up on the front side yeah. and mm -hmm. then funnels are just kind of supplemental to help them to, uh, it's really to buy their time yeah. back. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we get you all the clients you can handle, and then we're like, okay, now let's put this into a system, automate it, so that now you can start buying your time back. Yeah. In the sense of an evergreen kind of a scenario, or or is that for for whatever they're looking for, I guess? Uh, like evergreen attract and enrollment process, but the we teach like uh, leverage scaled coaching programs that uh, that have really kind of three parts of it. Is it has a community. It has a uh, a video course that like that brings people through a process, and then it has like uh, intimate group coaching that really makes a difference in people's lives. Yeah, 
that's awesome. That's toast. really cool. So you guys are able to do that together and, um, and you're married, which is great. And you're doing it together and you're, you're still married, which means that <laughs> something must be working right because it be this is a high tension, high tension job situation here, guys, you're in a high tension. So how does that work between the two of you? How's that, how's that uh, work offline there? Well, you know, we've gone through, you know, we work with coaches for a, a reason, right? And we've gone, we literally, we could be relationship coaches. We could be transformational coaches. We're in the work could doing, coaches. we could be health coaches. <laughs> we could do all of this stuff ourselves, but we have a, a passion to help other people with our skills, but we're in the work. Um, we have, you know, we believe that everything is in integrity and in agreements and in life. And so we've set up very specific. So we've created a possibility for us to be living a marriage that's loving, passionate and abundant and honoring to each other. And so when we break that agreement with each other, cause you know, life happens, then we're very open in our communication. Uh, that's another agreement that we have that we're always open and talk to clean it up. And so we just, I think between that communication and having that create, like we're very intentional about having a very loving marriage while we're doing this. And that makes all the difference of being able to do that. It does make all the difference yeah. and it makes for a better business, right? Yeah. Yeah. We work really well together. We have great synergy. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So uh, the two of you, obviously uh, you don't do the same things. Otherwise it, it probably wouldn't work, but um, Chad, you have a certain skill set. And Holly, you have a certain skill set. So what do those look like for the two of you in that business? Yeah, and this kind of goes back to the why we're not necessarily health or transformation or relationship coaches. It's like I've literally called on the phone tens of thousands of people, right? I've literally knocked on tens of thousands of doors, like, selling doors, stuff right knuckles, yeah but like literally i have calluses on my so in in enrollment and so what we've done is i've taken frameworks and stuff that i've used in the door-to-door -door world and in the the um you know um interviewing because i was actually taught to interview clients before anything right so our process was interview your client to see if they're a good fit for your business, essentially. Like Pre-qualify, basically. Exactly, and it's like, if, if they feel like they're being qualified, it's not like a push onto them. That's the mistake that most people make. So my whole sales, my background is sales, and it, I've taken that mindset around and just asking really good questions and qualifying people to see if they're a good fit for your program and not selling anything. So we've taken that and put it into frameworks to allow our clients to enroll clients like crazy without feeling salesy. Salesy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big word, right? So a lot of folks have a problem with that. They don't, especially folks that are coming into the industry that are new, that really have a passion to do something. They're, they're called, they just are ill-equipped. And, um, and one of the things most people, most people, I mean, there are some that, that are definitely used car salesmen out there, but some folks, <laughs> they come into this thing and they don't want to feel that way. They don't feel like they want to be pressured. They don't want to like walk into the store and go, can I help you? Would you like to buy this shirt? Would you like to buy this? No, leave me alone. I'm just shopping. Right. So that's yeah. cool. So Holly, what about you? So what my skill sets are that I'm very good at is helping people draw out their program mm. and their like intellectual so property to create like a framework for their business and create that leverage. And I am definitely a genius when it comes to systems and funnels and creating that automation and leverage in their life. Mm. And social media. So, so two things that she left out there. One is she worked with an eight figure coach and he would say, I need a, a course on Monday and he would, she would, create this course for him and it would be you launched on Monday. Like Sunday, by the way, yeah. like we need a course by tomorrow, pretty much. Crazy. Yeah. 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 And so the second one is <clears throat> the same, she was working for that same guy and he was a platinum partner with Grant Cardone. And, um, so Grant came to this guy needing help for, yeah, exactly. <laughs> needing help with, uh, his sales funnel for the millionaire booklet. And, um, this was what, four years ago. And, um, so Holly ended up consulting on that funnel and it went on to do tens of millions of dollars. No problem there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So there you go, folks. Prerequisite. Everybody's going to start wanting to join up with you guys now. We'll talk about that shortly. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So 
you know, obviously the name of the show is, is Hope Revealed, and you guys are able to do that uh, through your business. Uh, you know, one of the things that Holly just mentioned is that you're able to pull, that's the hard thing. A lot of folks come to to, to want to do this, and they have a really hard time uh, naming it, uh, to, to put the clarity on on the thing, right? It's not like they don't have it. It's just, mm-hmm. it's a matter of how do you, how do you just do that? Oh, that, and Holly's probably, you're probably the gal is the, that they say, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. And you're able to, through uh, your question guy over there, the question guy whoop, there, oh, there you go, backwards, that guy, <laughs> you're able to work together to, uh, to pull those questions out to get the answers that they're looking for, right? It's pretty yeah. much how you guys work it. Yeah. I mean, that's worth it there. Yeah. I mean, there's coaching programs out there that cost, I know, <laughs> Ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars just to sign up to get that information. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then they say, "See ya." <laughs> yeah. If you want more? You can keep paying us big money every month. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. But at the at the end side of it, you guys are actually helping them to do things that they that they make money instead of just leaving them hanging. Especially mm-hmm. social media, big deal. And that's where we're all uh, we're all living today, primarily with all these businesses. And if you're not, you're you're not uh, working it. But um, yeah, that's where that's where everybody's living. That's where the money's at right now. And you guys are there to help people to find that and to live the dream life they're looking for. I mean, uh, you know, Holly, you were telling me earlier that you went on like at one point in your life you went on like twenty one cruises like in a year or something like that. I mean, that's that's phenomenal, right? You had some breakthrough in your life and you had a chance to really do some things that was about uh, about you. And that's really a good opportunity mm-hmm. to not feel guilty when you're when you're working a job and, and doing your dream life trying to help other people when uh when you actually have a chance to do things yourself right it's what it's all about it's giving yourself some freedom not have to work 17 hours a day right i mean that's the difference uh, between perfectionism and excellence we were talking about a second ago so it's funny oh. that you say that because that's been my biggest thing because i'm a recovering perfectionist and uh <laughs> i actually was mark hoverson uh talked about when he was still you know he he's passed on now but that was a big lesson that i got for him is when you uh switch that over from perfectionist to an excellence and you live the standard of your life of excellence then that's what naturally attracts to you is a life of excellence mm, it's so, so good. when you said that the first time i'm like oh, it's exactly what i tell everyone because i work with a lot of perfectionists like hmm. but switch that over to excellence and what would that look like and what would that create make possible for your life so true and it, it's so hard when you're a perfectionist um to to you know sometimes it's easy to snap back into perfectionism you know i i i had that at points in my life where i jump back into it and i'm like oh crap i'm there again i got to ch- stop it stop it right yeah. so you know you guys have had some some major breakthroughs in in your lives individually and collectively for sure uh one awesome breakthrough is that holly uh she, she's pregnant they're expecting their first child together yes whoop, whoop. you're four and a half months pregnant now four, uh, no i'm just reaching my fourth month fourth month pregnant uh, this is october whenever the show airs so your four months in october and that is phenomenal what an awesome blessing and a miracle for the two of you to enjoy together indeed mm. yeah so killer so you know if, if you might if you think there's some times in your life where we're talking about that that moment where you know some things kind of went south or just weren't happening for us you know and that's really where we share some great stories here on Hope Revealed, and you guys have a plethora of them. Um, and I don't know which which one we'll shoot for. I'm going to give you guys the chance to to say, to say that, but uh, there's definitely a moment you guys have had in your lives or a life. Which uh, one would that be you'd like to talk about today? Yeah. So, um, you know, part of the reason where we're all about freedom and leverage and helping others really become equipped with this skill is uh, before Chad and I, we did done for you systems. Uh, That's what we did. Like that was our main gig is done for you systems, build all your funnels, all your systems and the whole work. And uh, that's a lot of work. Right. And it's, we literally like, we didn't have an authentically, we didn't have the right kind of team structure. You know, Chad was going out there and getting all the clients and I was fulfilling and doing all the funnels and the systems. And, What ended up happening is I went into complete burnout and overwhelm. And we're not talking about like, oh, you burned out. You had to like sleep it off for the weekend. But what happened was I literally went into, it started manifesting into seizures. Like it was hurting my brain being on the screen so much. And with all the stress and having everything happen, I was having about 12 seizures a day. And I was still, I was still not going to let that stop me, right? I am a total like high performer, high achiever. Holy smokes. and, And so, um you know, Chad was sharing briefly, like we had a webinar 
to do. And it was like in a half an hour or something, um, I had a seizure. And sometimes after seizures, I don't know if anyone listening uh, has experience with seizures, but there's times when your body parts, they just don't work. Yeah. And so you just can't do anything, but just kind of lay there and you're like, totally like, I hate to use the word helpless, but really that's where you're at. Like there's mm. just nothing you can do. It's like weekend and Bernie's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like when you find out that you have six kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Chad would like prop me up and I went and I did this webinar anyway. Right. So I, I wasn't, I, I didn't want to let it stop me. I kept on doing it. And what ended up happening was eventually I went into a seizure that lasted, it went static for about 30, I don't know exactly how long, between 30 and 40 minutes. I didn't come out of it. Gosh, that's horrific. And um, I ended up having some brain trauma because of that. And when I did come out, um, Chad was there. I looked at him and I had absolutely no idea who he was. I had no idea I had kids. I had no idea where I was. I had no idea what my name was. Like I was a completely blank slate. Um, and that happened. So I'll let you kind of. Yeah. And say so. From your side, because my brain is, this is kind of a blank spot for me. Yeah. No. So I. I I went out, it was my birthday, and I went out with my best friend uh, for my birthday, and I come home, and she's middle seizure, like, just, like, not responsive. I'm dumping CBD down her throat. We're dumping um, um, electrolytes and, like, just trying to get something to snap her out of it and just kept on, uh, kept on happening, right? She would come out. And she'd be a little bit there and then again, and then like so on and so forth. And uh, when she finally came out of it the last time, she was like, where am I? And then it like, who am I? And like, and then who are you type thing? What did that make you feel like right then, Chad? It freaked, it was freaking, it was freak, freaked me out. Right. It freaked me out so bad. And then, um, we're like, okay, well, we'll see how long this lasts. And she, you know, I basically, uh, I think I, we spent up the night talking about like what we're doing and what we do and like all this stuff. Right. Trying to reacclimate her, letting her know who she is, what she's doing, what you're there for. Yeah. Actually, you that part of the conversation, Holly at all, or is it still kind of a fog to you? I don't remember that conversation very much. What I do remember is like, and here's where the kind of switch was in our mentality is, you know, this was a, a blank slate. What are we going to create for you? Right. You can tell me my past and what happens, but what, what are we going to do from here on out? So we have these power statements that we've created um, for our business and for our clients. And Excellent. they're, um, we'll just kind of read them off for the people who are listening. Like, um, I know I can do this because I'm empowered, impact driven and unstoppable. I can do anything I set my mind to and I'm confident in myself. I know it won't happen overnight, but I will trust the process. I'll pick myself up even when it looks like I'm failing and want to quit because I'm determined and committed. I understand that in reality, there's no failing. I'm only collecting data. I'm committed to taking imperfect action and I'm driven by the impact that I'm making in the world. And we would have these, they were, they're set up like next to my bed and I would just read them every day. And I was just like, you know, obviously I was doing something amazing before all of this happened. And I would just go into my- Wait, so you're saying this didn't just, this didn't take you 30 minutes to, to click out of here? Mm. No. No. This, no. Um... So the result of this is I had some brain trauma in my frontal lobe and then also in the pons region of my brain. And the pons is where you keep all of your memories. So um, it took me a little while to get memories back. Two years later, I do have them back. So there's some things that pop up all the time um, and it's not perfect, but it's definitely, it's taken two years. Wow. <laughs> to um, so meanwhile, in between, it was, uh, I call it champion training. Like we set up a, uh, like a training for me that was just instilling all of these things, like who I am and who I'm becoming who I'm creating to be and what I'm out for. Meanwhile, like to learn, I had to learn our whole business again and what we were doing and everything else. So it was very powerful actually. And I say this is probably the best thing that's ever happened to our life. And I know it sounds crazy, but um, I was going into our computer and like getting 
all of the funnels we ever did all it, like I was just absorbing everything that we were doing and I started seeing patterns because I was very biased because so I, I didn't have anything any attachments to anything we ever did because I didn't have any I didn't know any attachment no recollection yeah 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 and so I could really see like why something worked so well and why something didn't work so well right and so what ended mm. up happening that's I guess a, I, that's a I, blessing in disguise it really was yeah so I started setting up systems like I'm a Trello nerd. I literally, I would have a system of, this is what I need to do every morning. And so like we had like this video to watch and okay, now do this. And now I know what I need you for in my life right now. I need that totally. I'm way like, I'm, I'm still squirrel man. So I got to fix yeah. that. But it, it came where I had a morning like system and then what I did in the afternoon, but at night we didn't have a system for me <sighs> and I didn't know what to do with myself. I would stare at a wall and start crying because I, I didn't have anything in place. I didn't know what to do. And I just would like get stuck. Wow. So this guy was incredible. Um, I, I can't even put into words like his patience and like really the, how much of a stand he was for my life. Uh, um, so, you know, he, he walked, through that he helped me put that all together and we started seeing uh I'm, i've always been a very holistic like what can we do what's the root cause of this and how can we create create it like heal from it naturally and so we started getting into functional medicine and functional neurology um we started seeing a functional neurologist and he helped me get a lot of brain I still to this day we do brain training i do brain training and brain balancing and started working through, you know, he had said that most people that go through this don't come back. Mm. And um, this was a man of God. I'm so grateful for him. Um, he would literally, I could, like, he would just pray over me while he worked on me at the same time. Yeah, that's phenomenal. And, yeah. And this guy, he was, he was really phenomenal. He, he unfortunately passed away mid-treatment where I had to go to another doctor, which, I mean, he was just everything happens and he was just a, made a big impact on my life. So as we started doing this brain balancing, I started to have my memories started to come back. And when they started coming back, it was actually traumatic for me because I had to, you know, if you can imagine losing all your memories, it can actually be a blessing because there's nothing, right? There's no attachments. There's no stories. There's no get stuck by your past. I mean, there, it's just blank. Yeah. which can actually be a huge blessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, if you really think about it, but when my memories started coming back, the trauma ones came back. The things that happened to me when I was three or four came back. Things that I think I probably never knew about, um, to be honest, that I just sheltered and put behind and shoved down and didn't deal with started coming back. And it was traumatic at least where I literally had to go through and just as powerful because I literally got to go through every single memory, every trauma. Um, I was then diagnosed with PTSD because I was getting these memories and these flashes of things that happened in my life. And then that would, you know, cause me to just literally disassociate from my body and pass out. And like all my autonomics would just shut down. And so we had the opportunity and I'm grateful that we, you know, this guy's been such a stand for transformation. I've been through a lot of personal development and transformational courses since too where we have been able to build our toolbox of what it looks like to go through traumas and to heal from those traumas powerfully and to be able to create something new from that. So um, we learned also different pressure points in your body that can bring you back when you disassociate completely. Yeah. This guy is, I think he's, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't even put on my fingers how many times he's saved my life and had to put ox, like give me CP, oxygen and mouth to mouth to make sure that I had oxygen while I was out. And then we would walk through and heal each trauma one by one and get, you know, okay, what are we going to create from this? It's mm. like, what are you going to tell yourself from this? So over the year, you know, the past couple of years, you know, I, again, this guy's incredible and how powerful it's been that had that never happened, I would never have been able to heal at the level that I'm healed today. Right. That's amazing. Yeah, truly. So you uh, Well, I mean, pause. I mean, it's just phenomenal to think about the, uh, well, the breakthrough in your life, first of all. I mean, for me, I mean, my, my whole reason for being is completely, I, I believe God's, you know, allowed me to be here. I was given eight months to live. 
and um you know it's been almost two years and i'm still here so um so much for that i mean god right. and then my book is called god's got this so for me i think there's a lot of god's got this moments in our lives and it sounds to me like that was some for sure a god's got this moment in your life and and many of them uh the bible in greek calls it a kairos moment we'll that'll be another show, but it's those aha moments you have in your life. And you have had many of those and you've had to rebuild. Uh, sounds to me like what you're saying, you did a lot of rebuilding in that whole process, but uh, some of the benefit in that process is, is to be able to have a, uh, a, a clear outlook and a, a, not a, no opinion in that scenario. Uh, but then the other blessing in that is you have been given back some of those things that you lost at the same time, mm -hmm. some of those memories that you lost, right? So by pursuing things clearly and cleanly, uh, open-minded, pushing into those things, uh, the blessing was you got back something that you lost. Yeah. It was massive. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really powerful. Not only that, we also, you know, we restructured our whole business where, you know, done for you stuff, just again, if it's the right people, one of my, I feel very strongly called to equip the called mm. right? and um, doing the done for you, the right, right person, right kind of project, something I, I can really believe in and get into. Sure. Absolutely willing to have that conversation. And I would rather equip people to be able to have, you know, I, I became leverage we need leverage we need systems for ourselves and other people need this too so they don't burn out so that this doesn't happen to them so how can we create our business and our program in a way that is empowering people to really have that freedom where they don't get overwhelmed they don't get that burnout and that they can move really powerful in what they feel called in to do so it literally restructured our entire business and you know thank god for that because the you know the results and the things that are happening in our clients lives it's just like it really takes me aback to just to think about like, man, if none of this had ever happened, like I wouldn't even, you wouldn't, wouldn't be here. Know. It's would you not be where you're at right now. There's just no way it would have happened. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And would you, uh, would you trade what you have now for, for then? Or were you, are you, are you more than content with what you have now? I am more like, not even just on a business sense. Do I love our business more, but I have an inner peace and a joy and a new confidence in my life that I never had. Yeah. So it was worth it is what you're saying. Yeah. That's absolutely. the same thing for me. People think, you know, I, I've told people that I'm thankful uh, that I have cancer and that's a, that's a hard pill for some to swallow, especially some in my circle with, uh, with church life and uh, the charismatic church specifically. Um, first of all, God didn't give me the disease. He's not a child abuser, so it's not, not his thing. Um, but he sure did help me uh, get through it. Mm -hmm. And he's trusted me. Uh, you know, want to get scriptural today. Sorry, folks. But in the, in the Bible, there's this guy named Paul. He wrote most of the New Testament. And uh, Paul died um, afflicted. He had an issue. Uh, the Bible wasn't very specific as to what it was. There's uh, plenty of opinions, but he died that way. Um, I think that at some points, God, God entrusts us with certain things that um, he believes that we could handle. Again, this is not accepting, like I don't accept cancer necessarily in my life, but I accept the, the situation and the moment that I'm enduring because I believe the outcome is much better than the issue I'm dealing with right now. The, the reward outweighs the risk, you know, and, um, if it weren't for cancer, I wouldn't meet a lot of people. I, we probably wouldn't be talking today. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that would have happened that would not have happened in my life had I not gone through that moment. And it's the same for you is what you're saying is like, you've been to a certain place that you'll never have, you could never go to those places where you're at now had not, had that not happened. It yeah. sucked. It was horrific. Using a word from Chad, his big word is probably marketed ch uh, suck, but it, it sucks. But it gives you a moment to where you're at today, which makes a huge difference, not only in your lives, but good grief. How many people do you guys get to talk to on a regular basis? Thousands. Yeah. What an amazing, amazing gift. So yeah. Chad, what's that like for you? You're the husband on the flip side of that, right? Yeah. So, and the business partner. Yeah. You know? Holy. Totally. It's, it's a, um... It's given my, because I've never, I, I wasn't the patient person 
before, right? No. I, yeah, no, I, I didn't have uh, patience. I was very just, just want to go, 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 especially when I'm focused on something. And this has given me a level of patience. And um, the other thing, I was not, I was very outcome and a result focused and people and their feelings and caring and all that stuff was just not a important thing for me. And, uh, and she has helped me open up my, uh, love, right? Like I, I don't think I could really love people. I feel like that 10 that like I was, I came out of the depression, but I never was able to gain the ability of like love I was really just focused on either the next door or the next business or the next internet thing or the next, what I, what's the next thing? Opportunity. Yeah. And it wasn't to stop and just love the people around me it was never a thing. Cause it's a big deal, right? I mean, there's folks in the business world that, that they love because of opportunity. It's not real love. It's opportunity. Uh, yeah. But you're totally. saying you had a transformation in your life to transform from, Chad, the opportunity guy yep. to Chad, the love guy who, who in turn has an opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's been amazing for me to see too. This guy has definitely made a transformation in his ability of caring and yeah, definitely patience and honor and mm. honor people and where they're at. Yeah. That's amazing. I would assume for sure uh, in your marriage, that would be, you know, where that came from. Uh, it, it would have to, I mean, the Lord tells us to honor our wives and uh, the lady tells the wives to honor the husbands too, but it doesn't mean we have to, it's a choice. And um, you've been put through the ringer, Chad, to be able to uh, bail on her or, uh, or stick it out. And then that requires the patience and endurance that you needed to learn uh, to do that. I mean, honestly, I've got a friend who was uh, diagnosed with cancer and within two weeks, her husband was gone. Yes. Said he didn't, said he didn't sign up for cancer. Wow. Um, that that's really it happened. It's really true. So there are people out there like that. It's crazy, but to know that you were able to uh, to face some of that in the face, Chad, and say, "No, I'm going to press through." Uh, it may not have been what you said at the moment, but <laughs> but it's just what happened, and it's yes. transformed you, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think I even said a few times, I'm sorry. No, go. I think I said a few times, like, why are you with me? Like, you don't, I don't want that. I think I even like was pushing him away for a bit. Like, I, I don't want this for you. I want you to go mm. out and yeah. uh, you know, live life and have peace. I don't want you to have to deal with this. You don't have to. And I understand. And like, I pushed him away for a bit. And, nice try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love that about you guys. <laughs> pausing right now and we all just hug each other and stuff, but that's yeah. so good. I'm sure folks that are watching and listening are feeling the same thing. Um, that's just phenomenal guys. And, and that kind of makes me think about folks that are, that are listening or watching. Um, I have no doubts that there are folks that are experiencing uh, the front side of what you're talking about. Uh, the burnout, the, the pain, the opportunity, um, all those things, um, the uh, the really no truth in the love, um, but there's probably a desire to do it. Just can't get past where you're at. It's, yeah. It hurts. It's hard. You can't, it's, it's just hard. You can't do it. Um, but yet you can, especially when you're put and forced into a situation like the two of you were. Uh, you, you have to, or you die, one of the two. Um, so either of you, Chad, Holly, both of you, uh, for that person that's listening right now or watching us, uh, is there, what would you say to that person right now that's kind of back at that place or even halfway or whatever? Yeah, I think you just really have to go into loving yourself. I, I, I find that the more I love myself, the more I can love others and the more that I can receive. What do you mean by the more you love yourself? How's that? Um, I literally spend time in the mirror every morning, um, you know, forgiving myself for whatever that I'm holding against myself and just, you know, loving myself for where I am and, and, and anything that I've done because we, we hold on to all this stuff to 
um, and hold like you're like your subconscious has essentially like a it doesn't let yourself off the hook and when you've done things that maybe you weren't like super proud of it like keeps track mm, yeah and if you can't forgive yourself and love yourself through like for all of it like you're going to hold um you're not going to be able to give that love out to the world and to people and and you're not not going to be able to receive everything that you sh- need like you need to that life has for you that life has for you that's good so good yeah it's so true you're holding yeah. not only yourself but you're holding those other people in bondage by not releasing yourself from the prison of yeah. unforgiveness or bitterness or anger or those things right yeah, yeah. and then going to having that and then you know i'm going to speak to the overachievers and the people who are you know they're just the opportunists who are working you know 12, 14, 16 hour days and not really taking the time to refresh and refuel and to have that leverage and create systems in their life so that their life, you know, your family is your family, your loved ones are your loved ones. Like a lot of times we work so hard for our loved ones, but then we don't ever actually just stop and go love them and be with them and refresh yourself and what that looks like to refresh yourself it's different for everybody but when you don't do that you know and i'm a testimony of this when you don't take care of yourself and you put opportunity and you put everything you know the workforce first um you can lose yourself you know i've I've been very blessed that i've been able to pick back up and be even stronger than i ever have and doesn't you don't have to get to that point in order to start doing it and sometimes the best way to get ahead is to step back and really be with the people that you love and you care about and to cherish those people and when you have that love and your love is like you know love is the ultimate right god is love and and that love is the ultimate thing in life and when you take time to just be and whether it's your partner children family friends everyone has different but everyone has some sort of something to love on and and make sure that you take that time with them and to make sure you take that time with yourself so that you can be powerful in your life mm. that's so good i tell you what we're having church today folks is really what it comes down to <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're not running away from you're running to mm-hmm. big that's difference yep. yeah so stop running away, <laughs> right? I mean, that's a big thing. Wow, guys, how powerful is that? Yeah. So you're able to take a lot of those things you have in your own relationship. And that's one of the things I really wanted to focus here on, on Hope Revealed is, um, you know, obviously you guys are a company and folks that are on Facebook or LinkedIn or other places may see ads and it's typically two of you sitting side by side there doing something like that. But, um, it, you know, there's, there's two people there, Holly and Chad, and uh, folks, that's Holly, that's Chad, and uh, you get a chance to meet them today and understand the heart behind their business, um, which is fantastic, and uh, to be a part of that uh, is actually, you know, you've got a community, you've invited me to your Facebook community you have, Thank you. and I I appreciate coming there, and uh, seeing that there are uh, great interactions happening with people, because it's a community, it's what's there for. And, uh, oh, well, I'm part of a lot of communities on Facebook, and some of them I know are there for uh, the person who has the community, who wants their own community and to engage with people and have more ups, or you have a community of people because you want to engage with them. And uh, that's what you guys have. And uh, you've created a family atmosphere with your business, uh, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. So that being the case, um, you know, how can folks get plugged in with you guys? Uh, you know, there's a, I know you have ads all over places, but folks are listening today uh, or watching. Of course, I'll have all those links here, but can you explain to us, you know, how that process happens, where they can find you, what they, how they get engaged with you? Yeah. If they want to join the group that's uh, coaches for transformation, get more clients on Facebook. Um, that's a great way. Request access. And then there's some questions you got to answer before you get in. Um, we're very picky on that. Um, and and then also, you know, we have a short training for anyone who's out there that 
um, as you're growing, we believe that everyone needs different things in life and in, in their business, not just in their life, but in their business to be able to grow. And, you know, we can't tell you exactly what you need, but we do have an exercise that will help you come up with the things that you need in particular. Mm -hmm. So you can go to quantum impact coaching and connect with us. Also get that training for yourself and what those things are for you. And you'll have a chance to also join our group from there too. So that's just quantum impact coaching.com. Yeah. That's the three things you need to grow your coaching business at 250 K a year. Even if you think you suck in marketing. So that's the hard for that. There it is. The suck word. He's got it. It's on the, I've seen it out there. And uh, to be able to do that, that's how they engage through that website or through the groups uh, or if they happen to catch you online somewhere, you guys have some, uh, some places out there where people can get engaged and uh, yeah. a mailing list as well. And I'm, I'm on your mailing list. So I get uh, about 700 emails a week from, no, I'm just kidding. Not that many. I get emails from you guys <laughs> as well, which is a good thing. It's communication. That's yeah. fantastic guys. And uh, I'm super, super stoked that folks get a chance to meet, to meet the two of you and to understand your heart for your for each other and uh, really the reason why this business exists is because of each other because you guys love each other because you guys are passionate about each other god's gifted both of you tremendously um which you know obviously why he put the two of you together uh, to be able to impact lives together way better than you ever would have done apart and, uh, and it's obvious right now with the way you guys are able to exist and live. And, and, uh, and the proof of that is in the pudding. The proof of that's right there, right there. She got the little baby in the oven. I mean, that's amazing that uh, you guys are, have the miracle of life inside of you. It's amazing what's going to happen. For that child to live in that environment is a big, big blessing. Huge. Yeah. I, Anything else you guys would like to say before we head out today? No, okay. thank you for the invite, man. I do real quick. I just want to honor you for giving us the, the platform and for other people to, uh, to come on here too and really what you're doing and sharing the power of God and how things that happen in our lives can be transformed to be used for good and powerful things. So thank you for having mm. us and yeah. for even having this show and doing what you're doing. I would just appreciate that. Uh, thanks so much. I don't know what else I would do. <laughs> it's just amazing. There's plenty of times I don't feel like I can, but you know, same, I'm sure you do too. And then you just have just do you know and although yeah. today I could have probably said hey guys I need to reschedule um, man I'm glad I didn't because the result is is way better than I would have had had I not been with you guys today right and for all of you out there as well that are with us today here on Hope Revealed thank you so much again for being a part of what we're doing here today no matter what you face no matter circumstance situations there's always going to be opposition there's always going to be darkness there's always going to be issues that make you say I give up but the reality is, if you look hard enough, there will always be a hope revealed. Thanks for watching another episode of Hope Revealed.